Okay, guys. For those who watch our live stream, as you all know, Sean C was part of that. The live stream, by the way, is available in Facebook and my second channel, Marvin Germa Podcast. But if you notice it there, I was asking a lot of questions and we were asking all of your questions uh, and we were answering it. This time, we're going to flip the tables. Sean C will ask me questions. For those who don't know who Sean C is, he's the CEO of SEO Hacker. And he, we have a webinar tomorrow. We're going to talk more about that later. But Sean, take it away. What are your questions? Go. Okay, so Marvin, uh, I have a prepared couple of questions here that I personally am interested in. And the first one is, with the market slumping, did your trading slow down? Mm. Okay, so uh, context, no? so that at least people who have not watched the previous videos, uh, they know what I'm saying. Ganun pa rin yung style ko. My portfolio is distributed. Meron for trading, meron for investing. Okay? Uh, meron dun sa investing, meron pang dividends, meron pang, yung pang long term, talagang pag naging mura siya, I start, I start buying. Pag hindi siya mura, I don't do anything. Then for trading, meron quick trading, meron position trading. I'll answer that from those four fronts. Number one, dun sa investing, nung bumagsak yung market, mas, mas naglalagin ako dun. Kasi there were opportunities that did not present itself two years ago that presented itself uh, when the markets dropped. So to answer that, I was more active in that when the market was very, very low. So context also, malaki na yung binagsak ng market uh, from two years ago to where we are today. Pero from where we are today also, malaki na rin yung inakyat niya. Some of the stocks have moved up 30 to 50% from its lowest point. Okay, so that's that's the whole context of it. Nung time na sobrang sobrang fresh yung pagkabagsak, uh, I, example, for long-term investing core portfolio uh, na long-term, I really like Ayala Land, even though prop, the property segment may have some problems for the short term right now, but I'm not looking at it for the short term. So, kahit gustuhin ko man bilhin ng 19 yun, ang bilis niya, it did not last for 19 for a few, uh, did not go, it did not stay at 19 for a very, very long time. Umakyat siya kagad ng 22, 21, 22 siya kagad. So, uh, for, from an investing standpoint, yung mga for long-term investing, mas naging active nung bumagsak. Second, investing again, dividends. Uh, for, those who do, for those who attended our seminars and read my book about uh, winning strategies for investing, I talked about fundamental analysis there and I talked about uh, dividend investing. If the dividend yield at that point in time was so attractive already for me, and I think walang threat uh, sa, sa pwedeng kitain ng company two, three years from now. I'm particularly speaking about the telco companies, Globe and Meral, uh, Globe and uh, PLDT, and I'm talking about the utility company, Meralco, that if the dividend yield was so good already, it was so attractive already for me, and then alam ko, kikita pa rin sila two, three years from now, they, will, they won't be as affected. Pinapasukan ko siya, meaning if you're asking about uh, if you're asking about me being active, I was active there. So yon. Next, Trading. While the market was breaking down, at the moment it was breaking down, my, my quick trading portfolio, walang ginagawa. Nakaka, naghihintay lang. Uh, when, when it was going down, my position trading portfolio, wala rin ginagawa. Kasi it hasn't really, uh, it hasn't really, it was going down eh. It was, it was on a downtrend. It was for quick trading when it was breaking down, uh, I don't, I didn't want to do anything also. Now, Fast forward uh, a few days and a few weeks later, some of those stocks have hit level of support. So for quick trading, support level, some of them I traded. Majority for my position trading account, since hindi pa talaga nag-reverse as a whole, with the exception of some stocks, bibihira pa ng stocks na nag-reverse, the pure golds, the, uh, the globes, the PLDPs, that they, they, have, they have started to push higher. Uh, but majority of the broad market hasn't really reversed. So for position trading, I mostly didn't do as much there. So yun yung sagot ko. Uh, there were some, especially sa investing nung bumagsak yung market, I did a lot. Pero for for trading, I didn't do I didn't do much doon. So there. Uh, so, before, yeah, sige, go, first, go first. Go first. I, I'm wondering lang, no, with the investment, you were active, but did you sell when the market was going down some of your investments where you could have already taken profits from, and then reinvested that amount when the market got lower? Ah, okay. That's a, that's a good question. For, for investing, no. For trading, for trading, yes. So, ako, ako, 
uh, yung yung sell signal ko kasi sa investing is if nagbago ba yung fundamentals. So iba iba lagi perspective from trading and investing. Ah eh. uh, yung perspective ko sa trading pag bumaba siya na hit yung mga sell areas, kahit gain or kahit loss, take profit or cut loss, I will sell. Pero sa investing, if the gains will be minimized or if it it becomes red pero the fundamentals is still there, I wait. So the mentality is different. That's why may, may argument from a lot of people, do you average down or you, do you not average down? If you are trading, don't average down. If you are investing, you average down. If you are investing and the fundamentals is there, bumagsak siya, you hold kahit loss. Uh, sa trading, pag bumagsak siya, don't hold, you sell kagad. So, ganun din. The same application for my uh, personal money. Okay. With the investing though, because I'm wondering, no, a lot of the stocks really took hits. So you held on to that lo- to the losses while it was going down. Uh, there, some of them weren't losses. Eh. Some of them malayu pa, may malayu pa talaga yung entry point also. Eh. So it, it, please remember, it doesn't it doesn't mean the stocks. Please remember the context. Uh, I, I I don't know if it's applicable to everyone, but there were some stocks. Then there were a lot. There's a lot of people also who entered uh, more than a decade ago, and some people have what they call core portfolio, meaning when you say core portfolio, this is part of your core that uh, you 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 hold on to them for a very, very long time until may, mag, may, may magpalit. So uh, if you're asking me, kung, kung meron akong stock na meron loss, I'll still hold on to it. Kung meron man ako stock na gain pa rin, tas nawala yung gain, di ako manghihinaya. Meaning, kunyari, 300% siya naging 100 na lang pag investing. Eh, ganun talaga siya eh. Hindi siya wala siya sa trading portfolio ko eh. It's if it's kung sa trading yun, kasalanan ko yun, mali ko yun na hindi ako nakapag-sell. Hindi ako nakaalis doon. But there's a reason why it's in the investing portfolio not the trading portfolio. There's a reason bakit meron kang set of rules na nakapeg for trading and set of rules that nakapeg sa investing. So, sa akin, I'd rather get smaller amounts of earning following my rules than not than earning money not following my rules. Kasi kung sinundan ko yung rules ko, pwede ko siya i-replicate 2 years down the line, 10 years down the line, 14 years down the line. Kung nagbenta lang ako out of uh, earnings or out of losses, I could have earned. Pero hindi ko na siya marireplicate kasi the next time it happens again, I will se- I will second guess my rules. Eh. So, mm-hmm. so, 300%, no? laki pala lang nagigain mo sa investing portfolio. Uh, Tako lang. I, don't, I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> All right. So, did you take out any of your funds from other sources? No. So it could be your investment in precious metals, other assets, REITs, to invest in stocks that are on sale right now. You know the stocks that you think are really good deals. Hmm. Galeng. Good question. But before that, I forgot to say this. Uh, the reason why we're here is Sean C has a webinar tomorrow that I'm his guest. So. I, I want to give this time also before I answer that question to uh, Sean C who wants to uh, share more about uh, the seminar, I guess, so that you guys have context about it. So it's called uh, Sean C. Kona Mag- ano, so uh, there. So it's called the uh, Breaking Through the Crisis in Your Business and Finances. And Marvin and I will be there. The webinar is going to be short, two hours, and there's going to be Q&A. You can ask us anything in the Q&A section the webinar will be recorded and we'll send you the replay afterwards we will also send you the downloadable uh, slides and we'll take in your answers even after the webinar uh, now the webinar is a paid webinar it's 850 pesos for the investment fee and why we want it, it that way is because we share a lot of stuff a, lo- a lot of stuff there that we don't share elsewhere it's a very valuable um, information that we're going to be sharing there and we want only a certain number of people who really have you know find the value enough to put value in so that they can get more value out in the webinar so mm-hmm. i hope we we're able to see you there tomorrow you know we're giving out so much value for free imagine what if you know it's paid then we're we're actually giving out so much more with that mm-hmm. so for those who want to know more about it guys it's streaming there already. Lagay nyo. I watch Sean C. If you guys want to be part of this. And then, since this will be in YouTube, I'll put the link in the description uh, for those who want to 
uh, be part of it. But for those who may watch this from other platforms, uh, comment na lang kayo, I want Shanxi, and then we'll try to send the link uh, to you to you guys as well. So there. So it's it's tomorrow, and I hope that you guys can interact with Shanxi kasi sobrang dami kayo matutunan sa kanya. Yung nag-joke siya 300%, kahit anong, kit- kahit anong kitain kung 300%, it doesn't match Gano siya kayaman, guys. Sobrang, sobrang yaman na siya. <laughs> guys, anyway, joke lang daw yung 300%. Mas malaki anyway, parang doon yung kinita ni Martin. <laughs> anyway, uh, to answer your question, hindi. Hindi ako nag-transfer. Not at all. Because, ganun, ganun talaga siya eh. Uh, before you go into investing, financial planning predicates investing. Meaning, yung inalat ko for REITs, yung inalat ko for, for example, U.S. stocks, yung inalat ko, for example, for gold, yung inalat ko for uh, mutual funds, they're supposed to be there. There's a reason why they're there because they're supposed to be there. I won't take out money from them to put in the stock market. Pero there's one thing that I did. I allotted cash for times like this. So yung cash that's allotted for times like this is what I'm going to add to it. Or if meron pa akong extra cash that's, for example, parked for something, then inisip ko, hmm, baka hindi ko naman siya kailangan. I'll give you an example, that, and this might help a lot of people. Some of you have travel funds. Chances are hindi kayo magka-travel this year. Yun yung pwede yung tanggalin, and ilagay nyo also sa stock market. So, you check your budget, check if there are items there na pwede yung tanggalin, cash, that you can also use for it. But for me, uh, wala eh. Kung ano yung position ko sa stock market, yun na yun. Pero kung ano yung allocations ko, I, on, on a regular basis, every time, ano, may, I, I, ganito, may budget ako eh. So, part sa budget ko, uh, parang tinitrain ko sarili ko na naglalagay pa rin ako sa stock market. As in cash, it doesn't mean I'm buying anything ah, na on a monthly basis. So, yun. Tapos, meron pa ako rin nalagay on an ad hoc level. So, that cash is what I can use to add some more. Plus, may, may savings ako lagi na just in case of recession fund to take care of times like this for me to be able to add. So, to answer your question, di ako nagtanggal in anything, uh, but I use cash for me to be able to add to certain positions sa market. Yeah, so hindi ka nagtanggal, nagdagdag ka pa. Grabe, oh, taas, no? So, th- your investments did not slow down. It sounds like you did in, th- you did invest more, in, at least in your investment portfolio. Hmm, mm. mm. Oh, uh, ganun talaga. Kasi if you've been watching the videos for years also, I've been saying that when times are, when the market is bullish, valuations are high. So yung investing portfolio ko naman, walang ginagawa nun. Naghihintay uh-huh. din, naghihintay din siya. Pero yung trading portfolio ko, yung position, yung position trading portfolio ko since uptrend, siya yung nakaposisyon. Ngayon, baliktad naman. Since madaming wala sa uptrend, yung position trading portfolio, walang laman. Wala siyang ginagawa. Pero yung investing portfolio, siya yung busy when times were not so good. Yeah. yeah. So just, just, to, just to segment this to people, financial planning is so important. Uh, portfolio management is so important. And the way you diversify your portfolio is so important. I, uh, maganda nga yung mga questions mo because normally I would always talk about fundamental and technical analysis. Those are the things that, that you do after all of these things have been done already. Those are after, kasi uh, if you don't do the money management well, you don't do the risk management well, you don't do yung pag-allocate well, uh, yung paggawa, kumbaga sa StarCraft, si, si Sean, si Addict sa StarCraft, may siya sa StarCraft, gumawa ka na agad ng carrier, wala, wala ka pang, uh, wala, wala ka pa masyadong troops, so mahihirapan ka. Or kumbaga sa, Sa StarCraft, gumawa ka na ng carrier, wala ka pa masyadong probes. So, you may get the carrier, pero it will hurt you in the long run because you won't have money. So, you, there are some things that you do first before you do the fundamental and technical analysis. How about other investments? Have you in, invested in other investments like uh, precious metals, gold, you know, real estate REITs? Hmm. Or it's just really well, stocks? Well, 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 this was happening. Well, this was happening. Yeah. Ah, uh, wala. Ka- uh, it's, it was either it was either nasa stock siya or cash siya. Ngayon, uh, anything that I get on top of on, na extra, either it goes to investing in stocks or mutual funds or naka cash siya. I'm not in, I'm not trying to do uh, other items. Pero meron pa rin kasi akong cash na tinatabi just in case may business opportunities that you can 
uh, you can either double in or be part of. Yun, hindi ko ginagalaw. Kasi uh, mahirap din. I don't know, from a business standpoint, uh, in in some businesses, it may be riskier now. Uh, eh, hindi ako masyad. Mas, mas ma stocks pa rin ako sa business. So alam ko, mas mas safe for me to go into stocks and to go into some businesses, especially startups, kasi mas malaki yung chance na ano eh, na baka magsara yung startup, pero yung listed company sa stock market, pwedeng humina yung sales sila, pwedeng humina yung kita nila, pero they will still be there. So, yeah. It sounds like you have so much cash that you've set aside. <laughs> Man, yung, yung hindi alam na, yung, yung, yung kailangan lang malaman ng tao is, ano eh, saving and planning is more important. Uh, hindi ako ma- hindi ako maluho eh hindi uh, wala akong masyadong mahilig lang ako sa kape mahilig ako kumain pero uh, when times when times are good i save when times are bad that's when i'll probably spend kasi everyone wants to dispose of their money eh. pero ganun din for example uh ganun ganun to may mga kaibigan ako pag nag pag may mga talks abroad sila bibili ng relo bibili sila madaming sapatos ako i barely will bibili ako konti and I would do that on the latter years, sa 2016, 2017. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy Mas those. I wouldn't buy those. <laughs> I wouldn't buy those. Ano? Pero I would save the money. I would invest the money. Tapos kung may konting natira, i-invest ko siya. So ganun lang, ganun, ganun lang. Nasa, nasa, nasanay ako eh. And then yung fear na, ano eh, na, na, it's, when everything is good, it won't be good forever eh. That's why you have to prepare it. Eh. And I think this is a lesson for everyone, no? Uh, that when times are good, when, when you are an investor in the stock market, you're a business person, you want to put more in the stock market and you want to put more in the business because th- things are good, eh? but you always have to think about that there will be times like this. Eh? So it's, it's, for me, it's never about the amount of money. It's about how you segment, how you segment your cash and how you protect yourself. So but how do you know? How do you know how much cash you put in a certain investment? Because you mentioned Karina, na you have this cash, you put it in the investment, and then you have cash pa na nakaset aside pa. Like, it sounds to me like you have, like, your cash is so segmented that I have, I am so interested in how you do that na, na even if, oh, itong cash na to pang investment ko dito kasi it's low, the stock is on sale, and I'm gonna hold on to that long term, but I still have a cash position that I can invest pa if another opportunity comes my way. How do you do that? Ah... Uh... Easiest way to say it, sobrang daming Excel sheets. Sa sobrang daming Excel, kahit yung wife ko ayaw niyang makialam sa budgeting namin. As in, sobrang pinapaubay niya sa akin kasi, kasi puro, puro siya, ex, ex, ano siya, madaming ex, Excel lang. Uh, mat, matrabaho siya gawin. I don't recommend it for everyone, pero it's what it's what works for me. Uh, it's what helps me. Ganun na, ako dat, ganun na ako dati pa eh. Nag-change lang siguro yung Dati nagsisave ako, ito pang wedding fund, ito pang retirement fund, ito pang college fund, ito pang travel fund. The same, the same, the same things that I've been doing in 2006 is the same things that I'm doing today. It's just that yung, yung mga buckets na yun, mas dumami siguro, mas dumami rin yung, yung, yung goals and mas dumami yung chances to be able to, to put it. So, ayun, it's a series of Excel, Excel files lang na, na mag, ma, mag, magulo siya. Pero every time, for example, Every time na may 100 pesos ako, kahit 100 pesos lang yung papasok, hatiin ko pa rin yun kahit tigpipiso lang pumunta sa lahat ng nandun. So, so how does it look like? Is it like, uh, is it, is your seg- is your Excel file segmented into different stocks? Parang per isang row? Ay, hindi. Ano na yun? Per portfolio na yun. Per portfolio na yun. Okay. okay. Tapos pero may kapa akong Excel file na nandun lahat ng mga stocks din. Pero that's a different story altogether na. So parang for example, for example yung kunyari meron kang apat na portfolio. So nakalagay doon portfolio A, uh, two, 200 pesos, portfolio B, uh, 10 pesos, portfolio C, 5 5000 pesos. So nakalagay lang doon yung sum. Then babalikan ko siya after the next quarter. Ano nangyari dito sa 5000? Ah, 4500 na lang siya. Ano nangyari dito sa 10 piso? Ah, 8 pesos na lang siya. So I just update it. Ganun lang. Got it. Parang naalala ko nga shinare mo nga yung Excel file na yan. Flash mo yung template sa screen doon sa ano natin, stock smarts natin nung umatend ako. Galing? So, last question no, to wrap things up. How long okay, is before, 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 before we wrap things up, uh, I say later na. Go, go, go. go. 
how, how long as far as you can see before the stock market is able to recover uh so but daming discussion dyan, no me discussion about v shape w shape u shape recovery i don't i honestly don't know because uh, we are not in normal conditions we are not in something that someone predicted even though this is even though people will make their forecast mayra eh, because Anyway, uh, the vaccine is only the start. Eh? The vaccine and the fear is only the start. Uh, it doesn't mean the economy will recover once the vaccine is there. Eh? It means people will probably spend more. Pero how big was the damage done? Nila na nawala ng trabaho. So those are things na variable pa lang eh. What I do know right now is, hindi ko mak- lahat ng tinanong mo, hindi ko makakontrol yun eh. Pero alam ko, magre-recover siya. So what I do know right now is, I need to have as much cash to keep me afloat while a recovery is happening, I need to have cash to position for some of the good ones na habang mura siya, pwede ko nang pasukan. So yun yung kaya kong, yun yung kaya kong control. Kasi magre-recover at magre-recover yun eh. So, uh, for the ones that alam ko are doing well already right now, especially the telcos at the supermarkets, uh, those are worth coming into already regardless kung mag-recover o hindi agad yung market. Uh, so again, may mga winners, may mga losers. Yung mga winners will at the bat earn more this year you mga losers may take some time before they start to uh before they start to recover so i i i don't know no one has a crystal ball kasi kung lahat ng tao may crystal ball di sana nagbenta na lahat ng 2018 pero hindi ko alam eh what, what i do know right now is no nag 4000 no nag 45 you market it was super cheap what i do know right now is we are not as cheap anymore as what it was a couple of weeks ago but we are not super expensive yet. Pero wala siya sa parang I I had a friend no, he's a fund manager. He went into he went into the the vlog also a few weeks ago. Sabi niya nung 4000 it was a screaming buy. Bakit screaming buy? Kasi pag sumigaw ka, you cannot scream for a very very long time. Eh. That that time is a very very short window already, but that was a screaming. That was a screaming buy. So we're not there anymore. We're still cheaper, but we're not at the cheapest. Will it go down pa? I don't know. But what I do know is the market is moving sideways. What I do know is uh, when the market is moving sideways, there are opportunities. Uh, when the market is moving sideways, may, ano yan, may, may support and resistance ka na pwede tingnan. Na yung, kung yung support and resistance na yan, na, na hindi, na, hindi siya nabasag, let, let, me, uh, let me show it to you para at least you see it. For example, you look at the index. Kita ba? Ano yung lumalabas? Yung chart yung kita mo, ano? Kita siya. Chart next. Chart. Okay. So, you you can plot the support and resistances. Eh. So, yeah. Uh, this is the PSEI index. If I'll start this from, if I'll start this from scratch, uh, you can see it's already sideways. Eh. Very, very thin sideways market. You have a support here. You have a resistance here. You have a very, very thin resistance here. And you have a very, very thin support here. So, yan siya. Uh, if selling will happen, most likely it will have to break the support levels. Pero until it breaks those support levels, I, there, there's a semblance na baka you don't need to uh, you don't need to panic yet. There's no there's no indication yet from the price na babalik siya to where it was before. So if those support levels here will hold, then there's there's a shot that we're just gonna move sideways up until something bad happens or some, until something good happens that will cause people to either buy more or dump their shares even more. So, yun. La, uh, siguro pahabol ko na ito na question. No? How are your other investments? Give give us some of your investments right now. Like, I know you invested in REITs and, and precious metals. How are they doing? Uh, Siyempre, gold, gold is bet. Anytime there's uncertainty, gold is better. So, mm. ganun din yung answer nun. The time to invest in gold was when, uh, hindi ngayon, kasi... Pag may uncertainty, matas. Matas na siya. Uh, and, and yun din yung malaking tulong, no? Uh, paano ko sasabihin? For example, uh, kaya ako medyo kampante also kasi may bonds ako. Meron akong preferred shares. Meron akong stocks na may dividends. So those are the... Meron, meron akong uh, savings sa banko na may interest ako nakukuha doon. So those are the things that will give you cash flow also. In, in times like this. Uh, the only time na napaisip ako, nagsara yung, nagsara yung stock market, nagsara yung bond market. 
Kasi inisip ko, at that time, March yun na, nagsara siya for two days. So sabi ko, pag sarado to, ano yan? Di, wala kang makukuhang, wala kang makukuhang interest sa funds. Wala kang makukuhang, yung, pati yung ITF mo, wala rin. Pati yung preferred shares mo, wala rin. Pero yun, they, they were able to open it naman in two days. Pero yun, ganun pa rin. It just shows you that you have to diversify in your level of comfort. Meaning, pag, pag kunyari, uh, example lang, ha, may, meron kang 10 million pesos, tapos uh, meron kang 1 million pesos sa bank account mo, tapos 9 million na ka-invest. Kung pag kinakabahan ka na parang lopsided, ha, 1 million lang yun sa bank ko, 9 million na ka-invest. Pag kinakabahan ka, that means you need to put more sa cash mo. You need to lessen your investments and put more into your cash. So that's why it's very different because yung comfort level ng tao iba-iba. So you put in more cash based on your comfort level uh, so that at least, mas importante ngayon, hindi ka kinakaban, eh. mas importante ngayon, meron ka rin some sort of peace of mind while all of this is going on. Kasi, oo nga, mas madami ka naka-invest, oo nga, 10 years down the line, it's gonna do better. Pero, habang naghihintay ka, nakakatulog ka ba ng mabuti, kung hindi ka nakakatulog, then it's not worth it all. So, it has to be based on what you're comfortable with and what you are, you can deal with while all of this volatility is going on. Galing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Okay, so I, I hope you guys got a lot. No, before we end, Sean, uh, again, we'll have Sean will have a webinar tomorrow. I'm his guest there. Uh, for those who want to join, the link is in the description. Or if you're watching this from any uh, any part that's not YouTube, comment I want Sean C, and then we'll send the link to you. Uh, it's already tomorrow, no? So this video is coming out around 9 p.m. I hope you guys get to see this, and it get, gives you enough time to be able to. Uh, to come in. But Sean, what can they expect from this? So you can expect that you'll learn new things. Uh, our presentation has never before been presented elsewhere. This is totally brand new. And you can expect that if you missed some of the things that are going to be in the webinar tomorrow, you're going to get the replay anyway, and you can watch that on demand. You can also download our slides, and you can take that home with you. And then we will have ongoing support. We'll invite you to an exclusive group where if you have more questions that you weren't able to ask during the webinar proper, you can ask it there. So you got you, this webinar is going to add so much value to you if you're a business owner or you want to start investing in the new norm, which is 12 to 18 months now. Alam naman natin, wala naman talagang normal sa new norm. Diba? Lahat tayo, gahol, lahat sira, lahat sabog. And we have to really adapt and embrace and pivot. And how are we going to do that? That's going to be the gem that we're going to be giving you in the webinar tomorrow. So please be there. I want you guys there. There is an investment fee because we want people who want this value to also put some value into it. Remember, if you don't pay, if people don't pay, people don't pay attention. This is why we put a little bit of investment into it. That's 850 pesos. May tanong, no? This was from the live stream that we did kanina. Uh, from Crivelli Kispin. Sabi niya, pwede ba sa seminar tomorrow yung wala pang business? Baka they're thinking, kailangan mo yung business pag nag-start ako dito. Pag wala kang business, magsisimula ka na ng business pag tapos ng seminar tomorrow. No? But you, you know, you can ask us anything there. So you can ask about a business idea that you might have right now or if, if you know, if you have a business idea tomorrow during the discussion, you can ask us that. So the value tomorrow is not just about if you're a business owner already. The value is if you want to start a business, you can ask us any questions tomorrow. Okay, amazing stuff, no? So there. Uh, guys, quick announcement again. If you're new to this channel, appreciate it if you can subscribe and smash the bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing. Then I have a second channel. It's in the description below as well. It's called Market Germo Podcast. All of the non-stock market content will be there. You can watch that. Then uh, I have books. Uh, and it's in Shopee. Links in the description for those who want to order. Then yun, online courses also with Sean C. Make money, grow money. Uh, it's also in the description below. You can sign up for that. For those who want to learn Tagalog with Chinkitan, I have uh, Stock Market for Everyone. It's also in the description below. Sean C has books. Uh, what's your book, Sean? And then right. uh, your now, podcast as well. Yeah, so my podcast, you can check it out, Leadership Stack. Uh, that's leadershipstack.com. Or you can uh, just go to Spotify and search for Leadership Stack. You'll find it there. 
and you, you know listening to the podcast is free we i i've had guests uh marvin who was a guest in in uh, in that podcast and we had a really 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 good recording you, you'll go you're going to be learning a lot from my episodes with marvin there so check it out on spotify uh leadership staff that's the podcast the book is uh you can download the uh ebook version first uh ceo at 22 it's really my startup journey how i started out as a failure in college almost kick out student virtually unemployable and i started my business with 1300 pesos and grew it to a, to a company now with uh, 50 people you know it's a multi-million peso company um and you can learn from the principles that i have through that journey by reading the ebook it's just seven chapters you can finish it in one day uh the ebook costs um nine dollars if i'm not mistaken you can check it out in sean.c s-e-a-n.si slash book i'm not sure about the price now but you can check it out there uh, i think it's yeah i think it's about nine dollars you can buy it through paypal or a bank deposit it's really up to you Dapat dapat ginawa pala natin may special code pag dito sila nang ganun tas merong ano di ba so in, interesting lang to see how many people from this uh Pwede, with, pero hindi ko pa na set up yun. Oh eh. my. Ano ba I'm disappointed ang Mr. website ah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys got a lot. More of that will be tomorrow in the webinar. Lagay niyo lang I want Shanti and then we'll send the link on how you can join. And then yun, uh if, all of the links below podcast uh YouTube channel, books, online courses, make money, grow money. It's also in the description below. I hope you guys got a lot from this and I hope that this is something that added value to all of you and I hope that this is something that uh, helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all. So.